What do you do when you've done everything in Tokyo? Today we're gonna do a bunch of unique and unusual activities here in Tokyo. We've been here for eight days now and we've done pretty much all of the like touristy like must-do activities that you see all over like Instagram and everything. So today we are gonna try some new things. Okay, so I love my donuts, and everywhere I go, I have to try their donuts, and I just gotta know which one has the best donuts, honestly. So I found this one place, it's got stuffed donuts, and I am super excited to try this. Stuffed donut, baby. Donut cone? Yeah, ice cream sandwich donut, thank you. Woo! Ooh, my God, squirtle. Mmm, <laughs> I really good. So I got the classic cream donut here. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh, this is great. <laughs> What's your rating? I think like an 8.7 out of 10. This is a really good donut. It's so like fluffy. Mm. The creamy is creamy. Mm. Mm, creamy. Delicious. So right now we're in Harajuku, which is a fashion staple of Tokyo, and this just doesn't feel right. So I think we need a quick change. All right, that's much better. I think I fit in now. Right now, we're on Takashita Street, and as you can see behind us, it is clearly not unknown, but it is quite there's unusual. There's people here. There's people here, but there's a lot of shops, like restaurants, like a lot of different snacks and sweets. And it's actually a really cool spot to just kind of hang out. So apparently here there is an otter cafe. That would be so cute, but also like, what? Why? How? <laughs> there's cafes for every animal. Like, I've seen a hedgehog, owl cafe, cat, dog cafe we went to. Those dogs hated McKaylin. Goodie secured. This feels so weird. Mm. I'm going to strawberry. <laughs> I love these things so much. <laughs> the one thing that really gets me about this place is their ability to make like food creations. Like look at this like parfait and like this cake down here. Like their arrangements and the amount of food they get onto like random objects is impressive. impressive. Also their combination of things. Like yeah. the donut ice cream today, like. A fire. This is insane. I honestly think this is the most amount of people like that we've been walking with so far. Yeah. Hey, like, oh my God! Look at this. That's a vibe. A vibe. This is the coolest little building behind. Little huge building behind us. Yeah. It's so wild. But yeah, we're here on a Saturday. I don't know if I recommend coming here on a Saturday. Yeah. Way too many fucking people here. It's crazy. This building is insane. It's a lot of motherfuckers. So before we try any more sweets, we need some real foods. So we're gonna get some sushi. I don't know what's happening. I'm so confused. Well, so it's one of these ones where you have to like take a number and then they call your seat. And there was like a bunch of people waiting. So we just went inside to try and get the crate. And then he just like took our number and was like, oh, here's your seat. So we just like skipped the whole line basically. There was literally like maybe 15 people out there waiting patiently with no chair just on the floor. <laughs> so you guys should go. I look kind of bad. Shoo! Oh my god, that was so awesome. <laughs> Shit, that was crazy. What is happening? <laughs> First taste test here of our conveyor belt sushi rama sushi. Mmm, that's good actually. We got a present. What the hell? I can't open it. A little keychain. Let's go! <laughs> so every five plates you put down here, um, or basically every five plates you finish, you have to play this game. And we actually won something this time. Let's go. What in the world? A sushi crepe. Ooh. It really just like sushi. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of refreshing. It's like light and... Yo, what the... We can never go back to the US. We just played $15 for 14 plates of sushi. That would have been like $80 in the US. That was the best sushi we've had so far. Which is crazy. <laughs> I would not think that that would come from a conveyor belt. <laughs> and by far the best experience for eating yeah. I think we've had and so far as well. Sushi. And the cheapest sushi. So, couldn't recommend this place enough. If there's a wait, it's worth the wait. So we just finished up at Harajuku and now we're off to Shibuya for our next activity. I promise it's not Shibuya Crossing or Shibuya Sky. Cheers! Cheers. 
fucking crazy. Have a the taxi yeah. Look at how many people there are. You guys? So obviously Shibuya Crossing is a tourist activity, but I feel like a lot of people don't know because it's not that crowded up here. But there's a rooftop bar that literally overlooks the Shibuya Crossing. If you go into the magnet building, up to the roof, 1500 yen, you get a drink, and you get a nice view of the crossing, and there's really not that many people up here. Oh, cool. Whoa. You can color on the walls. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> So today's my brother's birthday, so in honor of him, I wrote Happy Birthday Drake on this board up here. No one's gonna ever know that, and he's not gonna be able to ever see this probably, but who knows there that from counts. this video? That's all that matters. To you, Drake, happy birthday, buddy. Happy <laughs> birthday. What's up? Oh! So if you could not tell, we are doing karaoke. Wow, it is hot as balls in there, but that was fun as hell. Uh, that was only like 300 yen per person, so like they're probably like $2. Oh yeah, like $2 plus a drink, that was like maybe $3 per person for a 30 minute session. So, not bad, not bad. That was a lot of fun. Take it, take it, take it. The only thing to note about that experience though is that the artist's like vocals does not come through, so, so it's just you. It's just you. <laughs> so if you have terrible vocals like us, you will be hearing yourself, and you'll be astonished that you sound like that. Sorry, right, though. But it's it's all right because you know like we're basically Leona Lewis. To me, I sound like Adele. To me, I sound like uh, Darth Vader. But it is what it is. <laughs> Now it is time for a snack we've been wanting to try since we arrived, and that is these fluffy pancakes. Let's go. Ooh, look at those fluffy pancakes. Ooh. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Look at how like, fluffy they are. I don't know how to describe that. Oh, so you just need to taste it. I have no idea how to describe that. I'll be the judge of this. Wow. Right? Like, what is that texture? It's so like smooth and like fluffy and airy and yeah. spongy, but like sweet, but not like overly sweet. Yeah. It's crazy. Though. Japanese pancakes, who knew? We're gonna enjoy these pancakes and we'll get back to you soon. So now we are happy people because we had our happy pancakes. And <laughs> next on the list, we're gonna go do something that I honestly did not think existed here in Japan. But we walk by it every day on our way to our hotel, so we're gonna go do it. For our final activity, we got a batting cage, baby. Time to beat Kaylin's ass. See how it's done. <laughs> hey, son. Oh. <laughs> All right, McCann, let's go. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we've moved on to the slow pitch now, and now we're doing the back off challenge. We're just gonna talk shit the whole time and see who hits more balls. I'm gonna get to her head here. I ain't know what to say, so be ready. Damn, you're standing there like a grandma. <laughs> Who taught you, Stevie Wonder? Jesus. Helen Kelly needs to show you a thing. Yummy. Oh. Yo, my grandma can hit better than you. You got a tiny beanie, too. I didn't even come. <laughs> This is the slow pitch for the ah! slow children. Damn, game and lie. Okay, I'm gonna smoke me in the uh, back off challenge. Uh, you know what a back off challenge is? Basically, you just talk a bunch of shit while they're doing whatever they're doing and um, you try to make them suck at whatever they're doing. Okay, I kinda won that one. <laughs> I suck. Yeah. 
Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. I appreciate you all for watching. We're gonna go get some food after this, but we don't need to take you guys along for that. You can go check out our Instagram if you are interested though and see what we had for dinner tonight at Freedom to Explore. I hope when you come to Tokyo, you can find some nice, unique things to do. And all right so i appreciate you for taking the time to watch this video as always like subscribe comment what was your favorite thing that we did today and what you plan on doing when you come here and as always turn on the notification bell so you get a reminder every single time we post that's the excellent